My name is Avine, and I'm from Scotland, in case you're wondering about the accent. Normally, you get whiskey or bagpipes or kilts from Scotland, but you get me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to start off today with a question. I want you to, just for a moment, I want you to close your eyes and go inside and connect with yourself. I want you to focus on your breathing. Focus on your posture, the energy in your body, your mood, your sense of wellness. And on a scale from zero to 10, where zero is absolutely awful, to 10, which is absolutely fabulous, I want you to give yourself a score, a kind of overall well-being score. And you can open your eyes again. And we're going to come back to that later. So remember what, what you scored yourself. Today, we're going to do something fundamental about mental health. We're going to explore how laughter can be that connection that keeps us all well. This is the royal family, or some of the royal family. They are not from Scotland. <laughs> but they do have mental health. <laughs> In fact, all of us have mental health. And there's a common misconception that if you have mental health, you have mental illness. But it's not the case. It's like this huge continuum from poor and struggling on one end to flourishing and awesome on the other end. And it's possible to flourish even if you have a mental illness. So there's this misconception that we all have. And everybody, every one of us, has mental health. There's been a huge amount of research has gone into well-being, how to get it and how to keep it and maintain it when you've got it. The New Economics Foundation reviewed all of this research and boiled it all down in a huge pot and came up with these guidelines to well-being, five ways to well-being, much like the kind of guidelines about five fruit and veg a day that will keep you healthy. So this is the five ways that are recommended for us to, to, to get and stay well. And funnily enough, about, it's about connection. The, the connect is the first one there, and that's about our relationships. And also, we need to continue to learn things throughout our lives. And what keeps us well is when we help other people, when we give of ourselves to others. And also, being mindful and being grateful for the things that we do have and the things around us. And also, like almost every list of how to stay well, we need to get a bit of exercise in there as well. So how can laughter yoga help us to connect? How can laughter yoga help us to flourish? How can it help our fundamental well-being? Because laughter connects. Laughter connects us fundamentally. Everybody laughs the same because laughter is universal. When I first came across laughter yoga, it was about 10 years ago in Edinburgh. And I went into this room, there was about 40 other people there, and the facilitator told us, you know what, we're all going to be laughing together, out loud, great big belly laughs together. And I'm here with all these strangers and kind of trying to edge towards the door like I came into the wrong place. <laughs> it was quite scary. But I stepped into that space, like you're going to do in a minute, and it was incredible. And I was on a high for weeks. It just connected everybody in the whole place. So then I went and trained as a laughter yoga leader. And then a few years later, um, I had the huge privilege to go to India um, and train as a laughter yoga professor with the founder of the laughter yoga movement. So, what is laughter yoga and how can it help us? It started in 1995 
It was actually started by a medical doctor, Dr. Madan Kataria, and he started it in a park, a public park in Mumbai, with five people. And it's grown, it's in almost every country in the world now, and there's laughter clubs everywhere, tens of thousands of laughter clubs. It's unique in the sense that it doesn't rely on jokes or stand-up or comedy or humor to work. Okay, it's a combination of actual laughing exercises and pranayama, which is yogic breathing. And we also throw in some mindful relaxation um, into the mix. There are huge physiological and psychological benefits that you can reap through engaging in laughter yoga. And we don't just leave it to chance. When you get up this morning and you go through your day and you get home at night, whether or not you laugh throughout your day is left to chance. Or maybe you'll deliberately sit down and put a comedy show on or a rom-com or something like that. Or maybe you work in a comedy environment. But we don't leave it to chance with laughter yoga. We commit to doing something like 10 minutes of laughter exercises all in one go. And it's extremely powerful. And the health benefits include it immediately lifts your mood, it lifts your spirit, it energizes you, it's good for your health, it's actually been proven to build your immune system so that it prevents you from getting ill. If you're ill, it helps you get better faster, and if you have to live with a chronic condition, then it makes it more bearable. It's also been proven to flush cortisol out of your body. And if you don't know what cortisol is, then you better find out, because it's a stress hormone that builds up in our body when we're, we're under stress, and it could kill you, it's so toxic. And if it doesn't kill you, it can steal years off your life. So it has health benefits. Also, professionally, when you're doing laughter yoga, your brain's getting something like 25% more oxygen. So at work, you're able to focus more, it helps you concentrate, it helps you be creative. It's incredibly powerful. It makes you more attractive socially. If you can imagine walking into a room and there is a big group of doer-faced people, as they would say in Scotland, and there's one person there that has a big beaming smile or a laugh on their face, you're going to gravitate towards that person. And the other thing that laughter yoga does is it gives us a buffer, a buffer which the challenges of life will just bounce off of. Okay. I think the best way for me to demonstrate is for all of us to engage in a little bit of laughter yoga. Are you willing to give it a try? Fantastic. Okay. So there's four components to laughter yoga. The four things are clapping, breathing, hopefully we're all breathing all the time, <laughs> something called childlike playfulness, and that's getting back in touch with the child in you. Because as, as we grow, as we get older, laughter is conditioned out of us. So we need to put it back. And the laughter, the laughter exercises themselves. So first of all, if everybody, if you're able to stand up, um, if everybody can stand up, please. I'll just mention um, one little contraindication here. If anybody um, has COPD, that's chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, if anybody has that, this exercise can be a bit challenging for your breathing. So you are the best judge of your breathing, and if you need to rest during one of the exercises, then rest. And anybody that's just had like open heart surgery, well, I'm surprised that you're here the day after that operation. <laughs> um, but again, if you have stitches all the way down there or all the way across there, um, laughter might put them under a bit of stress. So you might want to be careful. But again, you know your own body. Okay. So first of all, if everyone can just clap for me. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I haven't even started yet. That's wonderful. Okay. 
So in laughter yoga, we clap differently. Most of the time, we clap like this. But from today on, you're going to remember, because laughter is actually really good for your memory, helps you to remember things. But you'll remember that in laughter yoga, we clap like this, fingertips to fingertips and palm to palm. So we clap like this. <laughs> Fantastic. And the reason that we do that, the reason we clap like that, is this is where all the meridian points are and all the acupressure points. So before you've even started to laugh, you're bringing energy to your body and you're enhancing your circulation. So there you go, so, and you haven't even started to laugh yet. So that's how, so you'll be clapping like that from now on because you'll remember that, okay? So then we add in, we normally take quite a bit of explanation for this, but I'm going to squish it right up for you today. So then we'll add in a, a bit of um, rhythm, a bit of clapping. So we'll, we'll do one, two, one, two, three, and we bend down and then up. So if everybody does it with me, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Thank you. Fantastic. Okay. So then we put in, and you've got a little bit of space around your chairs, we put in a wee bit of movement if we can, and we always incorporate eye contact with everybody around you, and then we'll add in, we'll incorporate a, a little bit of ho ho, ha ha ha, okay? <laughs> so, so do, you can do this with me, so you go ho ho, ha ha ha, ho ho, ha ha ha, ho ho, ha ha ha. Ho ho ha 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 ho ho ha 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 ho ho ha 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 fantastic fantastic awesome can you feel the energy starting to build up in the room already so the next bit the next component is breathing everybody breathe okay so we do some pranayama which is yogic breathing so for the purposes of today we're just going to put our hands straight out in front of us and when you take a big deep breath in, really feel it right down here, a big deep breath, I want you to fold up your fists and bring them up to your collarbone and then release and let the breath out. Fantastic, okay? Hands straight out in front, a nice big deep breath, hold it and release. Fantastic. Now, this time, on the out breath, I want you to just let out a great big laugh, okay? <laughs> Okay, so a big deep breath in, hold it. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic, awesome. <laughs> so then, like I said, what we need to do now is we need to incorporate a little bit of childlike playfulness. Not childish, childlike. So we're getting back in touch with our inner child. And here's how we do this in laughter yoga. We say, very good, very good, yay! <laughs> Everybody, very good, very good, yay! Again, very good, very good, yay! Fantastic, awesome, excellent. So then we go on to the actual laughter exercises themselves. So for the first exercise, I'd like to do a laughter greeting, and I would need to have a victim, I mean volunteer, um, for this exercise. Is it possible to have a volunteer? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Audrey. <laughs> Audrey pulled the short straw. <laughs> so, so we're going to, um, in the West here, when normally when we meet someone for the first time, we'll give them a handshake. Um, and in the, the East, normally we'll give a little bow saying Namaste. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with Namaste. And you're going to say Namaste, the greeting, to the people around you. People at the side of you, people behind you, people in front of you. And remember to have direct eye contact with them as you do it. And when you get back up from the little bow, you go... <laughs> <laughs> You just give a little laugh. So we're going to demonstrate for you. Okay, Audrey? So, namaste. <laughs> okay, so ready? One, two, three, go. Namaste. 
नमस्ते वेरी गुड वेरी गुड ये लवली सो द नेक्स्ट एक्सरसाइज इज द लाफ्टर हैंड शेक एंड दिस इज हाउ यू गोइंग टू डू अ लाफ्टर हैंड शेक सो वी विल डेमोस्ट्रेट फर्स्ट and it goes like that and you can shake more than one hand at a time you can do this okay so left hand shake ha 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 <laughs> very good, very good. Yay! Fabulous. Okay, next exercise. We're going to have a laughter milkshake. Laughing is thirsty work. So we're going to have a little milkshake. We have to mix it up first. So here's how you have a laughter milkshake. You go. Uh, uh, <laughs> Ready? Uh, uh, <laughs> for, for you, <laughs> you may be like this. and tolerant <laughs> so you have to you have to have a laughter milk shake like this ee <laughs> 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 Okay. So the next exercise is called the naughty. <laughs> the naughty finger. <laughs> so I know I was always naughty as a little girl, and I'm sure you were all perfectly well behaved. But I was always getting a ticking off or a scolding. And um, for one thing or another, So we're going to give each other a scolding. That's what the naughty finger is, and it goes like this. It goes, oh, <laughs> okay, one, two, three, go. <laughs> 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 Very good. Very good. Yay! Okay. I bring laughter yoga to lots of different environments and um some of it is for people that have got so many challenges in their lives. Um one of the things I learned from laughter yoga was not to take things so seriously. And so this is a great exercise for that. And this is called the self laugh. And if ever you feel you've got the weight of the world on your shoulders and you need to get things back in perspective, this is the exercise that you want to do. And it goes like this. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Very good. Yay! Okay, everybody, you can settle down in your seats again. What I'd like you to do is just close your eyes for a moment and go back to that question that I asked at the beginning, at the start of the session. And so go inside and connect with yourself. and just check out your energy levels your mood your posture your breathing and on that scale of 0 to 10 i want you to rescore yourself okay you can open your eyes again so hopefully everyone's score has gone up a bit 
while the policymakers, politicians and so on, struggle with this universal problem about mental illness, we can be part of a fundamental solution by using laughter yoga, by incorporating laughter into our lives. You can make a fundamental difference. So I would suggest to you, engage in laughter, laughter yoga, on a regular basis. Share it with your family, share it with your friends. Kids love it. Kids could run laughter classes, they're awesome. And make a fundamental difference to mental health and well-being. Thanks for connecting with me. Thank <laughs> you.